Los soldados medievales sufrían heridas brutales en la batalla. La probabilidad de sobrevivir dependía de los cirujanos barberos. El trabajo y las herramientas del cirujano barbero eran de lo más variado, desde cortar el pelo hasta amputar extremidades. 600 years ago, surgery was very different from today, and this is some of the kit that the surgeons of then would be using. For example, amputations. This bit of kit was used to cut through the skin. Then you need to get through bone, and this is what they used. Believe it or not, this was used for neurosurgery. But what they didn't have at the time was anesthesia. A pesar de llevar a cabo operaciones quirúrgicas importantes, no estaban bien formados. What they learned, they learned on the job, and the place where they practiced the most was the battlefield. También fue una época en la que se desarrollaron nuevas técnicas quirúrgicas, especialmente al tratarse de la vida de un futuro rey. En 1403, el príncipe Enrique de 16 años fue herido en la batalla de Shrewsbury contra los rebeldes que querían derrocar a su padre, el rey Enrique IV. The arrow penetrated his right cheek and became lodged at the base of his skull. He was very lucky it didn't kill him instantly. El príncipe Enrique se sacó la flecha de su rostro. El ástil salió pero la punta de la flecha se quedó alojada adentro. They needed to get that out before infection set in and killed him. John Bradmore, afamado cirujano, al rescate. Bradmore registró lo que hizo para salvar la vida del príncipe con una imagen de la herramienta que usó para extraer la punta de la flecha. And it works by ensuring that the tip is closed and then inserting it along the track caused by the arrowhead until it meets the arrowhead. Después el tornillo se gira para expandir la punta, fijándola dentro de la punta de la flecha. And then ever so slowly and gently you extract, making sure that you don't lose it along the way. I'm amazed by the skill that would have been needed to do this successfully. Can you imagine how good that felt when that came out? El joven príncipe sobrevivió y se convirtió en el rey Enrique V, el héroe de Agincourt. Pero tal vez los verdaderos héroes de la medicina medieval fuesen los cirujanos barberos que salvaron tantas vidas en la batalla. <risa>